Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Rafael Benevides and today I'm going to show you how to install the Red Hat Hello World microservices using Ansible scripts. Well, first of all, Red Hat Hello World microservices, as the name, the name says, it's a bunch of microservices uh, that returns the greeting, the hello, in different languages. So, for example, uh, we have here the microservice called Bonjour, which returns um, hello in French. It uses Node.js. Uh, we have the OLAD, which returns hello in Portuguese using Spring Boot. We have Aloha, which returns um, hello in, in Hawaiian using Vertex, and, and so on. So, what we will do now is install these microservices in OpenShift. First thing is that we need an OpenShift cluster running. And to do that, I will use the feature of uh, OpenShift 1.3 called OC Cluster App. So we can, you can see here that I have OC version 131. It's the origin version. And I can do OC Cluster App dash dash help. Uh, it will bring me some information. What I will do is choose some options here. I will specify to create a machine that says that I, uh, instead of using the Docker daemon uh, from my host, it will use the Docker machine to create a new, new host. I already have Docker machine installed here. So let me return to OC cluster up. OC cluster up, and I want to create a machine. That's it. For now, we just need that. When I do that, Docker machine will create a new machine called OpenShift. The default driver of Docker machine in my host is VirtualBox. So we can see that uh, uh, it's, it's now creating a machine called OpenShift. And this new machine uses boot to Docker. So let's just wait to this machine be to become available. So now that we have the, the, the Docker daemon running in this machine, OC cluster app will detect that and it starts to download the image OpenShift slash origin uh, with the tag V1.3.1. We can continue, we can keep this docker daemon running in background here. Once that the origin container, uh, origin container is running, it will install the registry, the router, the image stream, the templates, and it will already log in for you. We can, now that it's running, we can open uh, the cluster in this URL. It will ask you to accept the certificate. We can log in with any credentials. In this case here, I will use uh, developer, developer, for example, I will have a um, sample project. Now what we need to do is install the microservices in this instance. If we return here in this repo, red hat uh, github.com slash red hat uh, dash hello world dash msa, we have the main repo with the instructions. And also there is a folder here with the Ansible script. So let's check out this project. Hit clone it. And inside this project, we have uh, the definition of some variables. So let's modify this variable here. Let's take a look what it asks. It asks for a work tier which means a place where the source code of those microservices will be um, placed on your machine. So you are able to choose that. I'm uh, specifying here my home gear slash hello world dash msa. It will ask for the IP of the OpenShift cluster. So it's this IP and port. It will ask for the credentials, so we use developer, developer, what else? Um, it will ask for the administ admin username and password, 
because it needs to change the security context. So we saw here the, that the administrator is system admin with empty password. So let's define that. You, ha you have a sample here. It's system admin with empty password. The domain, it, it uses XIP uh, uh, .io. XIP or NIP.io allows you to do the following trick. So for example, you can specify an IP like one, two, three, four, and do and use NIP.io, and that will resolve to the IP that you inform. So since I want to resolve to the cluster, I will use uh, the domain as app my IP dot NIP.io. Uh, for OC cluster app, I need to ad adjust the SCC, the project is Hello World MSA, and I don't want to deploy Jenkins at this moment. Okay, now that I have the virus defined, I just need to run Ansible, the Ansible playbook. I have here the version 2, 212 of Ansible playbook, but you can also have any other further version and then I will specify the hello world dash MSA YAML that will log in as administrator administrator change the SS SCC create the work gear for me and check out the source code of each microservice in the work gear that you specified. So in my case here is this folder called Hello World MSA. We can see that all the projects ha has, uh, have been checked out from GitHub. And now for the Java projects, it will compile them because uh, we don't host, we don't store the WAR files or the JAR files inside the repo. So this microservice needs to be built and packaged so we can def, uh, deploy them inside OpenShift. And this step is happening at this moment for the for Java projects. These this here in blue are, pro, are Node.js project. They will have the NPM install in this step here. So the NPM install has been executed. The same one for the Bonjour service. And now it's logged in in OpenShift. It created the project. Let's see it, it here, the Hello World MSA. What else is happening? It created a build for each one of the microservice. We can come here and see the builds. We have the, the build for each one of the microservice. And now it's starting to uh, to create the image for each one of these microservices. We can see here for, um, for the image that we have empty image, image streams, but the build is happening now. We can open and see the logs that you, it will get the base image for, from Docker and once that this uh, image is built, it will be published as an image stream. So let's keep waiting the build to happen. Uh, what I will do now is edit the video and make it faster so we don't need to wait for this build to complete. It's now 17.31 or, or 5 p.m. and 31 minutes. And let's see how long it takes to compile, uh, to build all those images. Yeah, so we can see now that in less than eight minutes, all images has been uh, have been deployed. We can see them here. And what's happening now? It's that OpenShift is creating the application based on those images and exposing their routes, also defining the, the how the front end will locate all those microservices and define redness probe 
Jaluka installing Kubeflix and, and Kubernetes Zipkin. Let's see them in the overview page. Yeah, so the script ended to execute. Let's wait for the deploy to complete uh, for all microservices. The microservice are running. We can open the front end now. Just I realized that the domain is the de domain that we defined in the var XML file. So we can see that the Hystrix dashboard is working. Uh, the Zipkin dashboard is also working using a API gateway and using the browser as a client. Everything took less than 15 minutes to complete. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any issues, questions, feel free to go to the GitHub repo or contact me in the Twitter slash Rafa Bene. Thank you so much. Bye bye.